Good afternoon. Welcome back to GH Honeybees. It is the 28th of September 2023, and we finally got a break in the weather. Uh, it's about 16 degrees Celsius here, which is around 62 Fahrenheit. And uh, it's been cold at nights, or colder than, you know, between 8 to 10 degrees Celsius at night. But as you can see, the bees are flying pretty good. But um, I have, about all I've been doing with them is giving them mite treatments and feeding them with their internal hive top feeders. But I noticed the other day when I came out to feed this box, this is hive four, that they weren't taking down the sugar water anymore. And they were all clustered around the, the vent screens on the inner cover making buzzing and clicking sounds and making me wonder if there's something wrong with them or if they've lost their queen or something but they seem to be flying pretty good and they're bringing in pollen I can see pollen on some of them girls legs but anyway I'm gonna uh, get my gear out of the shed And uh, we'll have a quick peek in there. I don't know if it's going to show up too good in here, but here's my winter storage. These are honey supers with all frames. And I've got my fancy dancy screens on there. And one on the bottom, one on the top, try and keep wax moss out of them. And then I've sealed them up with painter's tape. And these are also honey supers and I've also got them sealed up these three here that are here don't have any frames in them but these are full of frames these are 10 frame boxes you can see a few frames in there so I'm hoping the wax moths will stay out of them but only time will tell anyway let me grab my kit here I don't know what kind of mood these girls are going to be in. Um, I'm going to set that over here. So let me get my uh, suit on here, get my veil and stuff on and get you set up and we'll have a quick look and see what they're doing. So the bees are up at the screens. They aren't making that funny clicking sound they were making before, and I have heard that before when uh, when the box was in trouble. But uh, let's see. I took this feeder out. Oh, now they've cleaned that right out. I took this out yesterday, washed it, and uh, cleaned it up, put fresh sugar water in there a little bit anyway, and they've taken that right out. So maybe there's nothing wrong with them, but... I just can't leave it to chance. I know my curiosity is going to get the better of me, but um, I'm going to take you around here and get you set up. find some way of dealing with the yellow jackets. The, uh, the traps are not doing it this year. I've tried several different baits and they, they just aren't going in them. But they really want to get into the boxes and cause harm.
slip this box right off. Boy, there's not sealed very well. I thought they'd have that sealed down. seem to be any propolis on the seals or around where the box is joined together. Well, that's all honey. It's a good frame of winter food. Both sides of that. Yeah, put your sticker away. Take some of this wax off the sides of the box here. I haven't had these boxes open in a while. It has been uh, wet, rainy, cool. So I've just been letting them do the thing. That's all, honey, by the looks of it. Yeah, that's all winter food. Both sides of that. Let's get rid of that stuff off of there. Stop feeding them for a bit. That's all, honey. Sugar water. all honey. There's bee bread in there. some of that wax off the bottom because there's you're going to end up squishing a bazillion bees that don't need to be squished. like to see evidence that there's a queen in here working away. I don't know if the queens have quit uh, laying for this season, but they probably slowed down quite a bit because of the cool weather. Well, that's all, honey. And that's all, honey. So is the next frame. I think they've just, they've got too much food.
can see that next round this these top two boxes are probably all all winter food I bet you there's no place in here for the queen to lay so I think I'm gonna stop feeding them for a week or two They've been taking all that sugar water and converting it into honey for storing it away for winter. Now that could be what their problem is. Let me get these girls put back together. Or maybe I should lift this box, I guess. And just check the bottom box. Yeah, I should do that. It's be squished over. that frame back in there or not. I'll pick all that off in a minute. whole thing. Uh, I'm having a problem here. I'll be back in a minute. I think that thing is on. Yeah, we're on. So I got down into the bottom box. Here's a pattern of older brood in the middle on both sides of this frame. I don't see any eggs in there. Yeah, I'm super sticky because they had stuff all over the frames and the tops of the frames. So there's more brood there, a little pattern in the center. And there's fresh grubs in there. About this side. And I see eggs. So we have still have a laying queen. There's more 
brood there, older brood. She could be anywhere because I lit the smoker and I gave him a good dose of smoking. There are freshly hatched bees in this side. A little bit of brood there, but there's some freshly hatched grubs. In those cells. I see fresh eggs in here, in this one, and gay old eggs are just laying over. Oh yeah, both sides. So we do have a good queen in here by the looks of it. That next frame has got a big pattern to brood on it. So I think I am going to try and get them closed up and reset. And leave them be. So um, I've got to get this box set back on the stand properly. So I'll be back in a bit. Well, I got them closed up again. See if I've got, quite got the lid pushed forward this way. I'll just do that. Um, my fears were not founded, so, but I did find out that I've been feeding them too much sugar water and they've got those top two boxes just chocker block full of honey, so I think that's going to be the same for these other three, because I've been feeding them all the same amount and filling those sugar dishes every two days and uh, they're taking it. So I think I'm going to let them uh, eat through some of that before I give them any more. And the only other thing I've got to do is, is kind of prep them for winter. Uh, the way the weather has been, you know, from that hot spell to sudden cooler spells, is uh, what to do about... Because I don't know what the weather's going to be like this winter. I really don't. Um, normally I put a. Uh, yeah, see that one's dry too, and I till late yesterday. Normally I put styrofoam um, house insulation in here, like one inch thick, and then I put burlap on top of it. But um, I think this year I might just go with the burlap and not bother with the styrofoam. I mean, the styrofoam seems to work okay, but um, in the springtime it's a bit of a pain because ants get underneath it and they build a nest underneath it between that and the inner cover and it makes a mess out of everything. So I think I'm just going to go with burlap this year and see how it goes. If it gets really cold, then I'll put some foam in there, but for the time being I'm just going to use burlap. Um, so anyway, I'm going to head off and uh, get this video edited and out and ready to go. I'm glad I don't have to drive too far right now. Uh, the government's put up the price of gas to 214 a liter here on the south end of Vancouver Island. And if you're an American watching this, that equates to a little over $8 a gallon. 
And I think that's why they went to the metric system so they could sort of fool people into thinking they were getting a deal when they were getting, buying liters because it's roughly four liters Canadian to one gallon of U.S. It's 3.8, but it's may as well say it's four. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad I'm retired and I don't have to go far. Anyway, that's it for today. I just needed to have a look in that box and find out what's going on. I've got a little pile of honey shavings, honey filled um, burr comb, and the yellow jackets are on it. I've already squished quite a few of them. So i got to clean that up and wash that table, and uh, that'll be it for today. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. And I'd like you to keep on watching, and there might be some more videos this year. I don't know yet. Bye for now.